Hey guys, this video is brought to you by AerospacePal.com. We deliver free content tailored specifically to the aerospace community. Come check out the site. What's up man, we're here talking about ESD, electrostatic discharge. This is section 25 of DL160. This simple test ensures that your product can handle ESD events from human contact up to 15,000 volts. There's only one category for this test, it's CAT A. CAT A tests your product to a 15,000 volt ESD event. Although it does not specify in DO160 how to show a custom category, use CAT Z for that custom level if needed. The test setup for ESD is a general setup that is specified in 20.3A and also shown here. The calibration for ESD generators or ESD guns is very vague. You need to use an ESD gun or generator that complies with figure 25.2 of DO160. Then record the gen setting for both the positive and negative pulses needed. For this test, inject a 15,000 volt ESD pulse on your unit at any possible human contact location for normal operation and maintenance mode. One misconception that I often see is that connector pins need to be tested. It specifically states in 25.1 that this test is not applicable to connector pins. While the EUT is powered on, inject 10 positive and 10 negative pulses on each point identified under all EUT modes of operation. Simply charge the ESD generator to the CAL level determined previously. Move it towards the test point and then when the ESD generator discharges or creates contact with the point, withdraw it for recharging on the next test. Repeat 10 times in the positive and negative direction and you're done. DL160 says that EUTs with test points that are accessed only during maintenance activities can be a damage tolerance test. However, this typically is run as an upset tolerance test, so monitor your EUT during the 10 positive and 10 negative pulses and ensure that you pass. You've just finished section 25 of DL160, Electrostatic Discharge. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found this informative, interesting, or just better than reading a 500 page standard, stop back at aerospacepal.com and tell other engineers about this free resource. Don't have a copy of D160? Check out the link below.